Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Frenemy Fire. I didn't even bother asking Aaron to do the intro because it takes too long. Uh, we got a lot to talk about this episode. I moved, um, but I've been playing a lot of games, a lot of games. Uh, Hitman, for one, uh, I want to talk about that a lot. There's a lot of Hitman stuff because uh, the makers of Hitman are making a new Bond game. Another kick I've been on. So that was crazy. Uh, we learned that tribalism in games is absolutely terrible. So uh, we go over some of that. And I just totally forgot everything. I do this every time we make an episode, and I just I don't know why I bother. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be a fun episode. I miss Aaron, uh, and Aaron's here. But we have a lot of things to talk about, so just strap in. Oh, my God, I can't even find our Patreon thing. But I do want to thank all of our patrons for dealing with us because it's a new setup. I have new audio. Uh, so I want to give a thank you to J.R. Judy. Thank you. Matt Blackinger, thank you so much. Christopher Sullivan, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Helping me through Hitman as well, thank you. Smacker Downs, Viva the JD, thank you. And Twitch.tv's 1UP John. That was the way. Twitch.tv slash 1UP John, whatever. It's a, I tried my best. We just did the episode, and I, again, I didn't even bother asking Aaron. So, uh, strap in, and the gauntlet, oh, the gauntlet's back. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. And somebody gets riggedy, riggedy wrecked in it. It's Aaron. I'm the champion. You'll see it. Oh, is that a spoiler? I'm the champion. I'll see you guys later. Oh, I have so many stories to tell you about moving, Aaron. It's great. It's not clear. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear Kevin's stories about Gates. About Bill Gates? I don't really know. Yeah, dude, he's your best friend. Dude, that's why... Do you remember, like, when, when COVID started, everyone had, like, the conspiracy theory about, like, Bill Gates secretly made this virus, and then he's also holding the, the vaccine hostage. Only cure. He's literally... The father and family guy. Yeah. I, he's, <laughs> he is just, there are so many, like my favorite is the 5G one. People are like, oh, it's caused by 5G. I'm like, yeah, especially in all those countries without 5G. That's my, that's my favorite one. That yeah, one, dude, like 5G is the reason they're stealing our identities. Obviously, you know, when you, uh, when you get your Thanksgiving turkey and it comes with that little thing in it, you know, pops right out. You got to take that out. So the government doesn't know how many people you have for Thanksgiving. So they can't Bro, track my you. Favorite, my favorite is, my favorite is, we can't get a COVID vaccine, dude. Because they're just going to install chips to be able to Whoa. track us. Not that we have one of these, a cell phone with tracking services that you can be tracked anywhere you go if you have a fucking cell phone. <laughs> my favorite is when the, <laughs> it was when the, the face app thing came out and everyone was like, oh my God, look how I look old I am. And it's, if there are they're just who trying are, to get updated photos for the registry. Yeah, I was like, dude, you're going to be super upset when you learn about driver's licenses. <laughs> That's my favorite. My favorite part about conspiracy theories is how 99% of them are so easily broken by, like, the most simple thing. Oh, yeah. There's some good ones. There's some good ones. Nobody. But most of them are just stupid. None of them. Most and none of them makes it. The only one I really believe is that Avril Lavigne is dead. She's been replaced Never. by her best friend, Melissa. She is, dude. You got to look into it. Never. Avril Lavigne is queen. Yeah, but, like, she's dead. You know that, right? She's queen. You're not she answering. Can never me. Die. She is. She can never die. By the way, guys, sorry ahead of time. Aaron, I hit record a while ago, but uh, my mic I is assume. here now, and like I, I'm in a new setup. I'm in my new dungeon, uh, which looks like the old dungeon. Are there any dragons there? No, which is disappointing. Um, <laughs> one day I'll do a update. But Aaron, what you've been missing uh, the past couple days because you've been sleeping like an asshole is well, instead how of dare I get five hours of sleep, but it's from like. 8 a.m. till 2. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> um, today we reboxed all my PS2 games on stream, so you could see what <gasps> games I had. Uh, yesterday we did Wii and GameCube, and then the first day I did PS3. So tomorrow uh, it's going to be probably 360 and Xbox, and I don't know where my Wii U boxes are. I have no idea where those game boxes are. Speaking of Xbox, Anitra and I are going to be trying to buy an Xbox Series S tonight. Did you look into the financing thing they have? Uh, I 
it doesn't matter. Anitra got a bonus at work, and we're oh. it's literally exactly enough to cover an Xbox Series S, which is what we want. So, so <laughs> pretty much that's like it's just an extra like like bit of money. So we're like, why not? Let's try and get the Series S. So Aaron, um, uh, then speaking of that, I doubt we'll get me, it. Tell me everything that's been going on with you and what you've been playing first. You're first tonight. School. <laughs> wow, sounds Music. so fun. I love my life. <laughs> you seem like a deranged psychopath when you say that, so I'm kind of scared. Uh, I don't know if you mean that. My sleep schedule feels like I'm a deranged psychopath. Uh, pfft, um, no, not you. At all. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what have I What have I been playing? I haven't played Valhalla in a while. I need to start playing that again. Mm. Um, pretty much all I've been playing is Fortnite. Oh, good. Which I can't wait to start <laughs> playing again, actually. Uh, so... I got I got the battle pass four and a half days ago um, when I started playing because someone bought it for me. All right, that's not um, bad. And I was like, well, if someone's gonna buy me the battle pass, I need to grind it out so I don't feel like I'm wasting someone else's money. Okay. So in four days, I'm now level eighty something. Okay, so I really got to catch up because I'm like six. <laughs> it doesn't matter. the The season ends in like five days. It doesn't so. yeah, but like I wanted to start playing again. Because if now I have internet. Definitely do. And if you're going to get the battle pass to get some of the characters, which is kind of cool. Listen, but... clear out your Sunday. We're going to play some Fortnite. I can't Saturday because I have things to do, but let's that's, do it. That's fine. I'm playing Among Us with some lovely UK people Ooh, on Saturday. What time? What time? Oh, um, Sunday. Like two or three oh. on Saturday. No, Saturday got yeah. some electrical work to do. But Sunday, yeah. I was going to say, I'll play yeah. some Among Us now that I have internet and I can stream it. But no, Fortnite, Sunday, let's do it, because it's the last day of the season. Let's see if we can boost you the fuck up and get some shit. We won't. Don't worry. No, dude, a lot of the challenges are super easy, and you just need to play. Like, I've done, in four days, I've done almost every single challenge. I only have three challenges left, and two of them I can't do, because the only way to do them is a game mode that they got rid of. It was a timed event. Well, then what the fuck? What are you supposed to do? Yeah. Exactly. I'm hoping they'll bring it back for the last couple days of the season. Well, that seems unfair. Yeah, I love these faces you're making. You having fun there, Mr. Bouncy? Yeah, I don't have my normal chair because uh, it's at the other house. So I'm sitting in a lawn chair that Tina I can cons- sell. That Tina consistently tells me not to do this, and I'm like, then why'd they make it so rocky? It's not my fault. <laughs> like, I didn't design it this way. But yeah, Fortnite's fun. I'm just hoping that they get the fuck away from superheroes now because all I've yeah. done is play superheroes lately. I feel like that's like they. I feel like one event was like Marvel, then one was like Avengers, and then one was like I'm like, come on, it's all Marvel. Like fucking let it go. Yeah, it was literally like so. It was it was the Deadpool event mm-hmm. that we did for that season. Yeah, um, that was when we played. Then they did like a mini Star Wars season. Yeah, which I is fucking that Marvel one. slash. Disney. That's the one I skipped. Yeah, that's when I stopped playing. I played like one or two days of it, but I didn't unlock anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I got back into it a few days ago because other people were playing and some of the characters were cool. And like, I want the Avengers because it's kind of cool. But like, I'm also sick of it. I'm hearing they might be doing DC next. And I'm like, please just get away from superheroes for a while. Take like a year break. I don't. And then do DC. Well, they did Aquaman for a bit, didn't they? Yeah, because I guess the whole map was like basically covered in water. I it was Hoenn. Oh, in the game. Again. <laughs> Great. But, but yeah, so, like, um, in if, I think next Monday, Galactus is supposed to show up. And, like, if you, as you're going out in the map, as you're, like, you know, in the bus and jumping off, you can kind of see him each day. He's getting a little bit further out of the water, poking his head out. Um, and he's massive. So I'm hoping he destroys the, the entire map and we get a completely new map afterwards. That wouldn't be the worst thing ever. But... Just to kind of mix it up. I fucking hate uh, Iron Man's area because they basically put, like, just a giant fucking, like, landmass on top of a landmass. And it got rid of the apple orchard, which was me and Timmy's favorite place to land. No. <laughs> Actually, wait. No, the apple orchard's there, isn't it? No, it's gone. What? Yeah, no. that's one of the places they buried the apple orchard and the farm. I don't like that at all. Yeah. But hometown's still there, bro. I still home- land there. Yeah. Home- Actually, I played with Jamie the other day. Um, Did you? Yeah, we. I was a good time. I missed Fortnite, dude. Well, that was the day we were trying to get you, and you're like, oh, "I'm too busy playing Among Us," because okay. that's all Aaron likes anymore. He doesn't care about his friends. He wants to play Among Us. Except Among a Us game is with his friends. other friends. 
<laughs> yeah, but they're not. Friends. But they're not me, Aaron. No, it's just people that I've met through you and because of you. <laughs> yeah, stealing my audience and then never stream. Yeah, I stream. Hey, I've streamed a bunch lately. I know you actually have. I can't even be mad at you. I was say I haven't streamed this week because school and holiday break. Well, this is supposed to be your catch-up week, week, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it went really well on Monday. It's gone really poorly the last two days. <laughs> it's gone really well on Monday. Like Monday, dude, I got like six, five, six assignments done. Um, I bad. Yesterday I got one. Today I got two done. So. And after that? I'm looking at what I have left, I should be able to finish it. But it's going to be a pain in the ass. I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready for no more school ever again. One day, Aaron. But until no, then, never no. because I'm going into school to teach afterwards. I was gonna say, <laughs> you uh, you're never gonna escape it. But you know, do your thing. Is that it? So you just played Fortnite in Among Us? Pretty much Fortnite. I haven't even played Among Us because uh, I don't know. I had a bad day, and I think two of the people we played with had a bad day the last time we played Among Us. Mm-hmm. And for a game that's supposed to be just fun, chill bullshit, there was way too many tensions and. Angerness, angie. I know that's, so I was like, I need a break from Among Us. Just need to take a little break and do something else. So, and I've done a little bit of Madden, but is Madden much better when it comes to uh, a break? Though, like, I feel like Madden, you just get heated and just be like, "Fuck this, fuck everybody." I just need little breaks from Madden, um, especially because like a lot of their updates, they've pulled a MLB The Show. Man, you had sports game. games, bro. <laughs> this year, dude, like all the sports games I've played, they come out and they're really good with some minor issues that they need to fix. Mm-hmm. Then they fix those minor issues but break their game more in other areas when they fix them. And it's absolutely insane. As they should. Yeah, it's so dumb. Hmm. Well. But, yeah, so is that. And then obviously playing all my phone games, Supercar, Duel Links, Fire Emblem Heroes, Sword Art Online. Is this a Sword Art mobile oh. game too? Yeah. I didn't know that. Sword Art's one of the top five uh, anime franchises in the last 20 years, so of course there is. Makes sense to me, I guess. Um, and I started Genshin Impact a little bit. Oh, so you're one of those people now. Wow. <laughs> I remember when we first saw it, we were both like, yeah, this would be cool to try, especially since it's fully free. Yeah, but then it got too weeby for me. It's literally Weed Breath of the Wild. It's what we said. Oh, that's exactly what I want to play. No, I'm good. <laughs> I Honestly, it looks fine. I just want to make fun of you. I, I hate everything about you. I know you do, and that's why I'm here for you. I'm sorry. We can't play all play fucking Hitman and fucking Butt Muncher Degree Sucker all the time. Yes, that's exactly what I played. <laughs> Side note, uh, how's the audio sound? Do I sound echoey in this basement? Honestly, would- no. Okay, cool. All right. I'm actually surprised because looking with how open it is and all the concrete, I figured there'd be a lot of like reverb and shit. Yeah, I still want to put like a crate stuff, but one thing at yeah. a time, you know. Yeah, you'll get there. All right. Is that Are anything? You're not doing green screen stuff. Oh my god! Well, I got stories, Aaron. Okay. Okay. It's been, okay. It's been um, a busy week. Um, I guess I'll start. Did I ever with talk what? about Little Hope on here? No. I don't remember if I Go did ahead. last week. The like the newest in the Man of Medan and Until Dawn. Uh, yes, one. actually, I, once you said okay. Man, once you said it was like in that series, I remembered. Yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't remember if I had talked about it last time. Yeah, yeah, I did. That's right. I talked about how people are bitching for no reason, like always. <laughs> nice. But yeah, game no, pass, so. so that's pretty much what I'm doing. Um, Sick. Hopefully, I'll have Game Pass within the next couple of weeks. Hopefully, we get the Series S tonight. That'd be really dope. And you can get that Game Pass hype. Ooh. Woo woo. Ooh, see, woo. It's, see to me, I'm looking at the laptop and you can't see in Discord, but like, because my camera's here, it looks like I'm always like, what's going on, Aaron? On the side, it looks like I'm like just staring Dog, at you. You're like making I'm some really you. weird fucking faces, too. Yeah. Like, well, I don't know. Yeah. Like, you've never made these weird faces. Uh, like, I'm just really happy. I don't know what's up with you right now. Well, one, I'm really happy that you're alive because I honestly thought we were going to have this tonight. So I was planning, I'm like, uh, I guess I should find something else to do. Why? So. Because I didn't answer you in the morning? Dog, you know I don't do mornings. You didn't answer me at 3 p.m., Aaron. That's what I answered you at 2.30, thank you very much. Disagree, but anyway. Uh, all right, so should I start with moving or games, Aaron? What's uh, Let's do games. All right, uh, fucking, what was the first game? 
You just Hit said man. it before. Hitman. That uh, Chris has been talking you through. Yeah, so Chris has actually been really helpful. Chris is obsessed with the Hitman games. I am. He's really good at that. I'm aware. Uh, he helped me get a Silent Assassin in one mission. Um, but yeah, Hitman's really good. The only problem with Hitman on PS2 is that it's dark as fuck. You can't see. I feel like that was anything. just like the era of games, though. Oh like, my god! A lot of PS2 games are just dark to be dark. Yeah. It's so like Edge. So when I, the table I was sitting at, when in, in the place we were staying, I had my 55 inch TV like this far in front of me. Like that's yeah. how close it was. Everyone else who's watching the video, have you put any of the YouTube videos up, Aaron? Uh, not in a while. Great. Thanks. I'm going to be doing that evergreen, Aaron. Great. Thanks. Anyway. <laughs> You're supposed to this weekend. And you never got with me, bro. All right. So then we got we have like three to do in the queue because I'm sure people are mad. Uh, we don't have so basically. Uh, Blackinger gave us one. Chris is finally supposed to give us his for November. Okay. And so we technically will have two to do, and then any we want to do. Well, and you're then lucky. I'm not in like you. six or in like six or seven days, we'll have two more to do. My because God, it'll we be got it. All right, look, I'm not working right now, so let's fucking. Dude, bend I'm these free. Out. Like, I I can do it anytime this week. Right. I just I just need to plan ahead so I can well, make sure I get my scores Thanksgiving, so it. we're not gonna get it out then. Uh, but Tomorrow's Monday, Tuesday, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Oh, shit. Exactly. Um, okay, um, so I played we, Hitman. We can do fuck, fuck Thanksgiving. We'll do it midnight Thanksgiving. Okay, great. I'm not doing that. Uh, so anyway, we'll Hit, Hitman's. I see how much you really care about this podcast. You won't even you won't even sacrifice a little sleep for it. Mm, you're right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so all right, Hitman's good. It's a uh, it, those games are essentially puzzle games, but it's just so fucking dark. Now, when I was playing on the big TV, maybe it was like the colors were like. Using an AV screen, it was trying to, like, too washed out. And I was like, oh, maybe, like, it's just too big a screen. I had to crank the fucking brightness and contrast up on my TV all the way to see what I was doing. And then, like, when I was streaming it, I had to, I literally have a filter that says Hitman filter so people could see. <laughs> like, John John was watching. He's like, I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at. Like, And then I had to, like, turn That's it amazing. up. It washed out the color so bad. That game is so dark, but it's really fun. So, if you have a CRT, play Hitman Contracts. Um, it's really good. What else did I play? I would, I would 100% play it if I had the chance. Oh, yeah. Um, I've been wanting to play Hitman forever. Um, I just never knew where to start. Because I know some of the games are really fucking hard. Some of them are really fucking good. And some of them are really bad. So, so I just never knew where to start. They're not bad. They're just, they are janky. They're janky as fuck. But I don't know if bad is yeah. the word. The, one thing the I only t- one I've played is, uh, I think it's actually technically the newest one out, but it came out in like 2016 or 17. Yeah, those are those are different than the PS2 era ones. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I'm just yeah. saying like that's the only Hitman I've played, and I enjoyed it, but I just didn't own it. It was one of my friends, and it was when I was living in the Dayton Wrestle House, and we played it. So, so I'm going to tell you play those because it's a, probably the best introduction, um, yeah. and then play Blood Money. Which is like the newest, oldest one. If that I think makes that's sense. The one that, I think that's Chris's favorite. Yeah, because the it, contracts in Sonic Assassin are so janky. It looks like Age of Forty Seven is walking on air half the time. Um, Actually, I think. Do I have Steam open? Am I going to break my computer opening? Probably. Steam? Don't do that. Keep talking. Okay. No. Uh, it was the, already open. Okay. The other thing uh, that really is good. What else did I play? Oh, Hitman is just good, man. I love Hitman. Uh, Little Nemo Dream Master. I gave this game a shot once. It's fucking bad, and I feel like I should love it. Whoa, because it's a it's a Capcom NES game, but it's just people like this game, but I do not, man. I don't know. They're like the platforming is kind of cheap. I don't like it, how you have to like find every key to escape, and they're all over the place in this level. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, I know people like it, but whatever. Fight me. Um, Dragon Quest, Aaron. I have great news about Dragon Quest. Did you beat it? No, but... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you had me so hyped. No, but... Also, before you continue, uh, on Steam, because I told you I have Chris's account, Yeah, he has Hitman 2, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, Hitman Contracts, Hitman Blood Money, Hitman Absolution, and Hitman Sniper Challenge. Oh, uh, Sniper Challenge is the first ever Hitman game. It's kind of boring. Uh, but when you said 2 and then 2 Silent Assassin, so I mean like the new 2 and then... I think so. It looks okay. like this, from looking at 2, it looks like this is like the pretty graphic one, and then Hitman 2 Silent Assassin looks like it's like an older make PS2 one or something. Okay. So, yeah, play the new ones first, and then go back. Oh, Absolution, I still think I it's good. I wonder if my computer, 
I wonder if my computer will be able to run Hitman 2. I don't know. but It, if it should. My computer's it, like 2015. If it can't, I would tell you go get the HD collection on 360. Oh, I missed it. He also has Hitman, which it looks like this is also the newer yeah. one, like Hitman and Hitman 2 of the new ones. And he has Hitman codename 47. I, I don't know what that one is at all. He probably has every Hitman ever that you can get on PC. Oh, does he so. have Hitman Go? Can you get that on PC? Probably. Dude, Hitman Go is fun. It's like you're like little chess pieces and you're trying to strategize your movements and how to kill people. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds literally like something I would love. They have a Lara Croft Go too as well. Uh that's awesome. Yeah. Uh okay, what else did I play? Little new Oh, Dragon Quest. The good the good news about Dragon Quest Aaron is that I'm on the absolute actual final boss. No, you're not. I am. I'm at I am right there. Will I beat I it by next you. week? Fucking probably not. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I honestly, I haven't had a whole lot of time oh to play God. it, but it's the only, well, my Switch is over there, but it's the only thing I have left at the other house, so like if I'm there, that's all I'm playing. But I'm trying to be here as much now, because you know, I'm paying bills here, I kind of want to fucking be here. Yeah, you want to live there. You want to yeah. live what you're paying for. Well, I want to live in the fucking, the, listen, the one thing I've been dying for since we moved out of my parents' house is decent internet. And then, like, the apartment didn't really have great internet. And then this, my grandparents has grandparent internet. And now I'm like, okay, the basic package here is triple the speeds I had anywhere else. So I want to fucking hilarious. use it. Oh, my God. It's so. Oh, yeah. Uh, what else have I played? Um, Fortnite. I dabbled in Fortnite. Yeah, so I really just need to, like, so I have this problem now. Um, mm-hmm. Because I have so many games on my PC between the two libraries I got from other people. Mm-hmm. I just don't know what to play. This is why I think... You know I'm going to play? What? I'm going to play Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures. That's actually pretty good. This is why I use a randomizer he, he to pick it. a lot of my games. This is why. Is there a way to randomize like a Steam library? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's programs that? out there. You just have to like, give have to it access that. to your account and then do that. I might have to do that. Yeah. Um, okay. So what did, I, what did I say? Fortnite. Dabbled in it. We talked about it. Uh, and the last thing I've been playing, there was something else here, and he fucked me. Oh, I started uh, the December game of the month early, Transformers War for Cybertron. Is it good? It's really fucking good, actually. It's Is it as good as me. It's Transformers Call of Duty, um, but it's third person. Like Call of Duty sucks, bro. No, it's actually really fun. I don't know shit about Transformers, uh, but actually Chris was making bro. up. Bro. He was making up bro. the lore as I play. The robots in disguise. Yo, they're more than just thick thighs, bro. Um, but like, he was he was making the whole. I love he was Chris. great. He was like, all right, so here's the story. I don't know shit about Transformers, but Optimus. Every time he says "roll," he's just a motherfucking tryhard, and everyone's just going <laughs> along with it because they're so annoyed with him. They feel like he's gonna complain. <laughs> so everyone's just like, "Yeah, roll out. We get it, Optimus. Like, whatever." <laughs> he just he was making up new lore as we go. That's um, the way it should be. That's, as, that's as the Chris I believe in. All right, Aaron, moving. Moving's been great. So we closed Friday. We started bringing our shit over Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I got my little, kind of got my console set up in my charging stations. It's kind of work in progress. I got boxes everywhere. But my fucking capture equipment, I promise you that all I've done was unplug this shit and move it to a new place. So I, the problem is, when it comes to the system, the Elgato, the splitter to get around copyright for PS3... And then to my computer, I thought I knew the order. I fucking don't, Aaron. So I spent <laughs> about three hours. I'm like, okay, the system is the endpoint, and then the, the computer is an endpoint. So is it the capture card first, or is it the splitter first? Then I had to like fuck with that, and then I had to go, okay, well, if that's that, but it doesn't go in the import or the output, because it's technically outputting here, but it's going input into the splitter. And I spent three hours looking up videos of fucking which order is it going to. I finally figured it out. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's over there. Oh I God. bought at Home Depot. I bought colored electrical tape. So I, now I have the, the HDMI core that goes into the system. That's red. The red goes into the red of the splitter. Then the splitter it made it yellow. The yellow goes into the other end of the Elgato. Then the Elgato has blue. And the blue is the part that goes into my laptop. I got it figured out now, Aaron. It took me hours. Hours to figure that out. And then, and then Aaron... We decided, you can't see it over here, the 55-inch that I was playing on before, Tina wants that upstairs. And it goes in the family room. I said, that makes sense. Biggest TV. Let's have it in the family room, right? So I was going to take one of her little TVs and just put it down here and play here, right? Aaron, you know what's fun about Elgato's? Apparently, if your TV's too old, they just don't fucking work. Really? 
Apparently. All the TVs we have besides this one are from like 2010 and before. But they're flat screen. They just don't fucking read. So I was like, oh, fuck. Like, so I, I took the TV that we had in our bedroom. Brought it down here. Doesn't work. Took the TV that my grandparents had just down here. Doesn't work. Took her fucking little 20-inch TV. I was like, please work. Doesn't work. So I was fucked. I'm like, oh, great. So none of these TVs work. What do we do? I had to go buy a TV. Well, I did go buy a TV. Um, And it didn't work. Hold on. It does. So we went to Best Buy last night because we were going around looking for bed sets. We also don't have a bed right now because my my queen-size bed from my parents and when we moved – I've done yoga on it, and it's just – it's not meant for my weight in my mattress and two people on it doing yoga. So, like, that bed frame is just fucked, to put it nicely. So, we were out looking for furniture, and we saw at Best Buy they had an $85 TV. Okay. So, the catch is it's a 32-inch right in front of me, but it only does does 720p. And I was like, shit, I don't know if this is going to work with the Elgato. It does. But – all my all my systems are automatically programmed to do 1080p. If you put something 1080p on this TV, it just overscans and freaks the fuck out. So I had to boot up my PS3, <coughs> put that in 720, boot up my Xbox 360, go back, find the settings, put it to 720. But to do all this, oh, Xbox One, PS4, all of them. But I had to hard reset them to get to the, the safe mode, to put it in low res, to then up... Res them to 720. And I did that all this afternoon when I wasn't streaming. And then, Aaron, and then I skipped one part of the story. The splitter box I have over here to bypass the PS3 copyright. Okay. When I was setting up all these TVs, it kept getting fuzzy and blacking out. And I was like, what the fuck's going on? I somehow have knocked the HDMI port loose of the splitter and it doesn't work. So I had to go to the game store I worked at today, <laughs> go buy a new splitter, and I'm finally ready. All my systems are downsized to, to 720p, and they fucking work. All I've done was move. It's amazing. All you do is move and unplug stuff. And you broke and everything. And everything fucking breaks. It's amazing. <laughs> I swear, I touched nothing, but I fucked. Everything's broken. So, Aaron, that's the been my... The real question is, the real question is, though... I remember when you were moving, you were going to paint the wall green, you were going to green screen. Oh, right. So the green screen, Aaron. <laughs> this has no, we have no finished ceiling here. There's just, you know, studs, things, yeah. right? So the green screen is in that fucking pile over there. You can probably see it. I'm pointing at it right there. Okay, the little, okay, yeah. So the fun part about green screens is that the lighting has to be exactly fucking perfect. If it's not perfect, Aaron, some green shows here if you have too much light. If it's too dark, it distorts over here. I fucked with it for hours. It just, it's too much work. What happened to, uh... I was going to paint the wall back here green. Yeah. It's just too much work, dude. Like, the lighting has to be exactly perfect, or it just doesn't you, work. You need to get some, uh, some, some of the lights I have. Honestly, I just don't care. I'm done. <laughs> I tried. I was so easy. I was so set on having a green screen, I just, I don't fucking care anymore. It's fine, dude. Green screens are dumb anyways. Honestly, I, I, and once I set up my old scene again, I made it a little different, but you remember the black and pink everywhere? Yeah. I kind of set that back up again with a few modifications. I'm just like, fuck the green screen. So what, what you need to do is you need to get one of those like little divider things that people get in like New York apartments to divide rooms into two sections yeah. and just put that up behind you so it's like you're, you don't have the whole background behind you and it just kind of... I don't looks even care. I'd even just throw the green curtain behind me and just never turn the green screen part on. I mean, that's fine too. I, I just figured just shit. to kind of, just kind of keep it. I don't know. I like this metal nice fucking. I like the furnace right behind me. Why not? <laughs> it's great. You're yeah, the that, worst. That's been my. But moving's been kind of painless since we never, uh, we never really unpacked when we got to my grandparents. So like, we're just kind of moving shit slowly, waiting for a painter to get here, and then we could actually like. Uh, build our fireplace and stuff so what the fuck do you have chicky tender (laughs) (laughs) or just say it like a fucking idiot chicky nuggy because i like chicky tendies oh you know what we're doing first today aaron because we we totally skipped it last time we're doing the gauntlet 
first. Fuck the news. We're here. No, that's that's fine. I told you we were saving the gauntlet for this time because we had six hours of fucking catching up to do last week. Well, maybe if you just stop leaving me for like, I'm busy. I like things besides you. You smell. You said that to me and it hurt my feelings. I just want to let you know that. Well, right. maybe don't fucking smell so bad. Now, Aaron, you wrote on this this document, explain Gauntlet every episode, you idiot. So why don't you do that while I look up why all the games? Why don't you game? explain it? Because I'm looking up the fucking games, Aaron. God. Wow. Wow. Kevin's angry, guys. I'm trying to eat some chicky tendies, and he's expecting me to explain something. That's exactly what I want you to, to explain. Eat. You think I want you to explain it because it's convenient for you? What a monster. All right. we the Gauntlet oh, gimmick. Oh, we, uh, what? wait. Yeah, explain it, because we never guessed for Valhalla, Dirt 5, Sackboy. So we got to guess these before I look them up. Because I'll works. know. That so. works. All right, explain, Aaron. Um, oh, I want to finish my tending. Oh, my fucking um, God. <laughs> what is the gauntlet? The gauntlet is a stupid bet that Kevin and I have for pizza that I'm going to win, even though he's destroying me right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we have so many to go over. But, uh, so basically... We look up games that are coming out relatively soon, and we guess what the Metacritic critic score, not the user score or yeah, anything. Yeah, fuck the users, by the way. Review bombing and stuff. Yeah. Um, not that we 100% believe in critics, and we definitely have different opinions of them all the time, but this is a fun little mini game type thing. We're not really, this doesn't mean the world, this isn't life or death, but we're going to guess, uh, guess what the Metacritic score is, and... Then it's basically how far off we are. We gain that many points, and it's like good old golf. The lowest score wins. So every single thing I, we have on here, I think, should be out. So we're gonna be doing this all day. <laughs> well, it's because we haven't. We literally haven't done it in three weeks. All right. So we have to guess the scores for Ascreed Valhalla Dirt Five. Can you share your screen? Oh, you want? To, oh, I didn't do that. No, it's gonna fuck everything up, Aaron. Uh that's your fault. You're supposed to set up beforehand. You should know better. <sighs> fucking worst. Give me a second. All right, now I gotta fi- fix this whole goddamn thing. Where are you? Look what you've done, Aaron. Sack boy. Yeah, we have to get all these. And I saw somebody playing Sack Boy's Big Adventure. Uh, D Nick. You know D Nick, don't you? D Nick. D Nick. I, I I think I've seen them in your chat before, maybe. D Nick's cool guy. We're gonna play Fortnite with him soon. Oh, okay. Uh, you're playing. Trust me. I'm making <laughs> friends. Yay! Yes, Aaron. You have to network to be a streamer, which means you have to use people's uh, social links and advantages for your own personal fucking. I hate when people say that. By the way, I don't know about how you feel about that. What? Like, I get networking is a thing, but I hate whenever I say like you have to network on like with other streamers. I'm like, I don't want to use them for shit. I want to be friends. Like, there, so that's the thing. There's there's a there's a line. Um, yeah. So like. Like, whenever you're I networking, know, like, I just feel dirty. Like, like yeah, so, like, it has a bad, like, cantation to it, like, a bad feeling to it. But, honestly, like, networking is super important. You literally can't do anything in, like, any field without some form of networking, pro wrestling, any type of art, music, uh, streaming, anything like that. You have to network. Which I but, understand. Like, but just be genuine. Just be a genuine person. Don't go up there and be like, oh, this person has a lot of numbers, so I want to be fr- friends with them so I can right. use their numbers. And that's no, shitty. like, I'll see someone. I like the content they're making. I think they're a cool person. I talk to them and try to become actual friends with them because I think, one, we could be real friends. Two, like, our content could work together. Three, like, I just want more friends, more people to play games with. That's like, one of the reasons I do this. I find it very convenient. A lot of YouTubers always, like, feature each other in videos, but they always happen to be around the same sub count. Like, kind yeah. of thing. I always think that's kind of funny. You never see, like, you know, oh, I have 100 subs, but the game chasers are in my video, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I always find it funny. Anyway, uh, Aaron. I mean, some of them are real. Well, some. No, I get what you're saying. Why is that so big? I don't know. I don't... Like, like, the mouse. It's so... You. Oh, probably because it's 720p on my TV now. <laughs> I'm so confused. Eh, don't worry about it, Aaron. Does it matter? Okay. What the fuck is Dirt 5? Isn't that like a racing game? It's a rally racing game, Aaron. Look up some screenshots if you want. I know what it is. And I'm going to go with an 80. 77. All right. Did you even look or are you just saying fuck No it? fucking clue. This is why you're losing, you piece of shit. <laughs> Why don't you look no, up I'm some... losing. 
I'm losing because I was nice to you on a couple of them that gave you no, huge leads. You when did, if we no, did no, the no. proper, when we did the, if we did the proper averaging, it would have brought it closer to my so favor. You're the fucking math teacher. I right? ask Reed Valhalla. I assume you've seen enough of Ask Reed. Um, literally, what I want to give it and what it sh- like, what it probably got are two different things. Well, I would probably it, say a 92. That's what you're going with. Sure. It's probably okay. a little high for what they'll score it, but 86 because I have seven and five in my head. So five sack boys, seven and five. I'm well, so 85 confused. and 87. I'm saying so. I'm going to go with it right in the middle. Oh. Be safe. Sack boy, okay. did you look it up? I have no clue what this even is. It's like a 3D platformer with the little big planet piece of sack. 82. All right, I'm going to go 80. <laughs> you're just not even bo- you're not even bothering looking them up, Aaron. Um, I know half of them, so it's fine. Okay. Spider-Man Miles Morales. That's the last 87. one. 87. That's kind of what I was going to do, too. Shit. All right. Uh, I'll go 90. No, that seems way too high. Um, I I've, I feel like mine's too high for ass-ass, but I really love that game. It's I'm going to so go good. 81. All right. Let's see. All right. We have we have Transformers going. We have Need for Speed. We have Cyberpunk. We have Monster. Let's go. We have so many to go over, Aaron. You Wait, did you did you go over any of these with static in that no. episode? I don't. Remember. I saved I saved okay. it for you, and then you were like, no. I thought you guys were going to. No, we were gonna, and then we went on for long, and then you, I was okay. ready to do it last week. But you're like, no, I'm Aaron. It's my show and my rules. Me, 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 me. That's oh, what you said. Yeah. We we were already at two hours, and I wanted to add another hour of no, gauntlet. We were, we were we were fucking. I don't know. We were fucking. All right, Transformers. I mean, yeah. Only fans, console Kevin, Aaron Norman. Why did that type like shit? Because you're controlling it. I don't know what's Got going him. on. You saw that, Got right? Him. Right. No. Let's see. Transformers Battlegrounds. We have an Xbox One and a Switch version, but we don't have the PS4. Do we want to go for it? Uh, Let's see how many Xbox One and how many Switch ratings it has. Uh, a decent amount. Uh, it's, it's five. That's good enough. We'll just go with the Xbox One. Do you want to use? Did just... someone give it a ninety-eight? Yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to go with this up here? Is that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Aaron, this one, that's fine. All right. So seventy-one. Aaron, <laughs> math. Me. Oh, I was right on. What? Oh, what? <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> all right. So I get three. So that's right. seventy-eight. Oh my god! I'm whipping your ass, dude. Dude, you've worked at like every game store known to man. I've worked at you one. Know. I've worked at a GameStop and a retro game store. What does that have to do with anything? Oh wait, no, 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 no. We have to do the Switch one too. We got to see how many Switch ones there are. No, it's fine. Just do no, this no, one. no. I'm being fair, Aaron. No, I think it's going to put lower more in your favor because the Switch ones are lower scores. <laughs> All right. Well, that now I definitely want to do it. Let's see. Like, the game I mean, doesn't look decent. It looks fine. You'll, You'll look. You'll gain more points. You'll gain points if you do it, though. Sixty-eight. Yeah. I w- well, we'll both gain points. There's only three. Yeah, it's oh, not it's, worth it. All right. Okay. I'll not give it to it. you. Oh shit! I need that tab. Why'd I do that? All right. So I'll delete this now. We're good with that. Boop. All right. Need for Speed: The Hot Pursuit Remastered. Aaron. Remember this that time. Gonna be- Exactly an 83, just to piss me off. What did I, is that what I put? 83? Yeah. Uh, I mean, that looks real good, the way that rope. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, we have a bunch here, so... Uh, we got to right, so open new tabs for all of them. All right. And then I'll decide if we're doing this the stupid... I know you're easy. deciding it. Like, I'll decide. It really just depends how many they have. So, this one has... Oh, God, that has... A lot. How many? 21 right, and That's 11. fine. So, right, so scroll up. Seven, well, do you want to write these down? Seventy four. Just leave it. Just go to the next tab. I'm just curious. How many does this have? A lot. Okay, you can scroll up and go to the next one. Switch. That That's one has it. four. All right. So what we'll do? It's literally going to be like a seventy five point five, probably. Well, yeah. Just we'll call it seventy four plus seventy four plus seventy six. Was it seventy six or seventy seven? Uh, seventy four, seventy seven, seventy four. Alright, so 74 plus 74 plus... So what the fuck did the Xbox seven. One version do that's... Oh, uh, probably the X in the graphics. Yeah, it's a 75. Um, so I gain 5. Okay. That puts me at... 83. 83. And I get... 
Uh, you get five plus three, so eight. Eight. So that puts me at so 55. 55. Catch up, Aaron. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hi, Anitra. Hi. What up, girl? Hey, for you. What is this? <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> the SpongeBob musical Broadway. I honestly, I thought she was going to bring home an Xbox if you guys talked about it. I, I wish, but no, it's really hard to get them. And yeah. She can't get them in store. Like, they have one in store, but it's for Black Friday, so she Dude, can't get it. Every single day, my buddy's telling us to get on the fucking every website and try to get him a PS5, and it's super annoying. I almost yeah. ordered one from Nebraska Furniture Supply, because they had them. What? <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. I almost bought it. Uh, Cyberpunk. Let's see if this has any reviews yet. I doubt it. Is it even out? No. I thought uh, it got pushed back Oh, it got again. pushed back. This is an old date. I was oh. like, it got pushed back in. There's no point for to look at the scores. It's not even out yet. All right, so what's the new... Can you at least look up the new date for me while I look up the next thing? Oh, my God, you're All right, so fucking... All right, fucking whatever. Needy. I guess not, Aaron. Sorry I'm asking... You're so fucking needy. This podcast is going right down the shit. Are you know that? Yeah, you're on it. December 10th. Write wow. it now. Okay. December 10th. 12-10-2020-2020. That's annoying. Why is there so many 20s there already? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, you read into the future, bro. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> All right, Monstrum is still has no results. This game is dead. Uh, go to the PS4 one. I'm curious. Okay. Click on it. It might have one. Do you want to just count it? Yeah. All right, it's got three. Let's go. All right, so we got to set. Go. Do you want to count all of them? Let's see. Monstrum here. Let's see. Let's see if there is. Do you want the PC one? The PC doesn't count because it's not, what? it was released in 2015. It was released in 2015. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't notice. Jeez, don't yell at me. All right, uh, the PS4 the one. 70 and 260s. Make, Go ahead. Mo- okay. A 40. <laughs> and a 40. All right, that's going to be tanked. Hold on. Yeah. A tanking. 70, 60, 60, 40, 58. All right, what did I say? Mm. Damn it. 10 points for me, 65, and you get 14. Jesus Christ, Aaron. 97. Almost said 69. Nice. Well, maybe if you didn't look them up all the time ahead of time. I swear to God, you could be in charge of this thing. I'll block myself (laughs) out of the document. I don't fucking care. I want a pizza, motherfucker. I actually looked at the screenshots and you're like, no, I'll do it. And then you're like, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Here's here's the difference. Here's the difference. Buying a pizza for someone in Connecticut is worth a lot more than buying a pizza for someone in Ohio. I'll get you the best goddamn pizza in the world (laughs) in Ohio. So I'll, I'll get you Domino's, a got I'll it. get you a salad de giorno. How's that? It's probably better than most of the places. Honestly, probably. Uh okay, dirt five. Dirt, 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 dirt. Is that what we're going with? Ding a dergan. Lee it's Lee Ferrickson Day. Why is it coming out like that? Oh my god. Oh, eighties. Wait, wait, wait. We have PS5 and PS4, so we gotta count. Do you want to count all these just right here? Um, honestly, dude, it's literally 80, 81, 82, 83. It's 82. I, I say we just – so it would literally be 81.5, which we would just put at 82. So Aaron gets five points. Yep. That brings you to 102. Look at you being able to do math. I'm so proud. I know. And what I say? Uh, 80? You get two points. Yep. 67. Oh, come on. I'm so close. You're going to jump right over nice. Oh, I'll be so pissed. You have no idea. I almost doubled you in points. This is great. You, this is the greatest game I ever thought of, ever. All right. You just like it because it's the only time you'll ever beat me at anything. Oh, absolutely. That's why you fucking left me. Oh, no! <laughs> I can't wait till 2021. You didn't... You just... You, boop, 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 <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? You sound like Neil Golden from Family Guy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. 85. 80. I did not expect it to be that low, honestly. Really? What did I, I, I honestly expected, I expected what, like, 87 is right. what I really expected. A- average me up, boy. Um, I think it's like 84. I would just, yeah, because there's two 85s probably. Let's, let's get accurate, though. Mix it up, boy. Oops. I don't know. Ascrete always feels like it's in the the mid to high 80s and never above that. 
What's Aaron got for averages, everybody? 83. 83. I was yeah. so like I wow. honestly so my actual my actual thought was uh, <gasps> eighty seven. Oh, I went right over it. You were right. I'm seventy. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that's you so love depressing. To you gotta take victories where you can get them. Uh, you gotta take victories where you can get them. So how many points are you over? Twelve. Nine. One eleven. All right. Okay. Sack boy, big adventure, Aaron. What do you think? What do you think? What do you, you had eighty two? It's gonna be a seventy. It's gonna be a seventy two. You think so? Yeah. Why platformers do you... don't get good. Platformers don't get good scores now unless it's literally fucking Mario. Yeah, no Mario. Oh, it's eighty. Oh, okay. Eighty and eighty one, so eighty one point five. So, so it'd be eighty point five, which would be an eighty one. So we each get one point. Wow. All right. GG, bro. That's what the gamers say. A gamer! <laughs> a gamer! I'm Gamers. a gamer girl! I'm an e-girl! Ugh. What did I just do there? <laughs> Ruined everything. Yeah, I fucking hate that. Alright, Miles Morales. I always forget that critics are just cucks and dumb bitches, so they don't really know how to score games. Uh, yeah, did, don't you remember the guy playing uh, Cuphead? 85 and 85. 85. I gained two, you gained four! Wow, this is the catch-up game, baby! This is the catch-up game! I, mean, I gained two, I'm I fucking gained squirting it all over you, baby. Squirting it all over you. Oh, gross. All right, Aaron. So, Aaron, I'm still the reigning, defending, undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Yeah, have you found games for next time, though? Huh? No. Huh, no, because this one huh? is so... Huh? 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 This one, the... huh? Any more games for next time? Huh, bro? Huh? You gonna find any more? Are you gonna get any more games? Any more? Huh? No? All right, I guess no? I'm doing this You're right not? now. <laughs> no, let's, let's, we're gonna pick the games together now, because you fucking made fun of me. <laughs> No, don't do it. <laughs> Shut up, Aaron. Fucking beta cuck. I'm on drugs. You beta cuck piece of shit. I've been using the GameStop um, thing. So, I, I DMC fuck. Yeah, but it already came oh, out. It's PS5, yeah. Actually, Immortal, Chronos before the action. Immortals Phoenix Rising sounds uh, interesting enough to score. Sure. You don't care, do you? Not really, but let's do it. All right. I can't spell it. Can, do you not know how to type? No. Oh, okay. Just wondering, because you never type anything. You copy and paste. <laughs> yeah, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. Uh, funny. Alright, what is the date for that? <laughs> uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising comes oh, out. Oh, good. 12-10. Alright, another one. I think. How, oh, it's coming out on the day of Cyberpunk. Good luck, Cyberpunk. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk's screwed, bro. Immortals coming for your lunch, it bro. Like, oh, it's 12-3. 12-3, I lied. Oh, I you're lied. a fucking 12-3. cock. You know that? Well, now oh, it has a chance. I sw- swear to God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to lick your butthole if you keep it. All right, Aaron, do you want to guess now or not? I'm basing it just no. off. Okay. No. We, we guess next week. We yeah. have so much time before it comes out. Right, okay, okay, we really don't. Sorry. We have a week. But that's fine. All right. Uh, Dragon Quest XI already came out. I'm not kidding. Puyo, yeah. Puyo Tetris 2. No, fuck that. Did you didn't you skip one up top? Go back up. Dude, do you care what about, about that Chronos game? Ah, uh, okay. That one's coming out. Chronos before the Sure. I'll go with that. Don't mind me, I'm just copying and pasting because I don't know how to type. Figbacks, bro. Fucking figbacks. Yeah, you're a figback. Whatever that means. I'll fig your back. Gross. Can you not play the piano? We're trying to do a podcast, you cunt. You're moving so slow. I know. Uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris oh, 2. I'm playing this looking. I'm pretty good. I want to play this first override Super Mech League, but I think... What the about second... Bio Mutant, bro? All right, we're going to do both of them, and then we'll call it. No, we got to see if there's any more good ones. Oh, my God, Aaron. You're the worst. I need as many games as possible to catch up. All right, hold on. Override 2. And then what was the next one? Bio Mutants? Bio Mutant, babe. Uh, okay. Buy a mutant. Well, and then the, the, is that good enough, or you want another one, Aaron? No, let's get another one. I need as many as possible. So I'm gonna <laughs> uh, we're this, we're now. Digimon this. survive, bro. All right, there. That's that's. I like is getting a second game. I'm hyped for Digimon survive. Give All me right. that Digimon horror game that it's not going to be. Uh, it, is that what it's supposed to be? I mean, that's what the like they showed one trailer at one point, and it was pretty much just no gameplay or anything, but just really looked like it was supposed to be like a. Digimon horror game. All right. Well, that's that going to be amazing. That's going to be it. I didn't put the dates down because I'm an idiot, but whatever. I'll Who cares? That. We don't need them. We don't need them. Dates are for quitters. Yeah, sure. I'd never okay. go on a date. Stupid. 
What do you think? I like girls? Gross. No, I never, I never once thought that you would like girls, Aaron. Sorry. Don't worry, most people don't. <laughs> it's all the, it's all that wrestling you do in those tights, bro. Mm. Waiting for you to switch back to your uh, trunks. You know, nice little briefs going on there. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm just going mm-hmm. naked next time I wrestle. Oh, sick! That won't get weird. Hey, remember that time we talked a whole bunch about Hitman, Aaron? Nope, never heard of it. What's Hitman? Uh, okay. Well, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. We're not friends. Aaron, the guys right, that make bye. it. Man. No, can you not? I'm trying to be oh, friends. You said you don't want to talk to me anymore. My Elgato just blacked out. Why did it do that? Oh, God. Kevin broke everything, guys. Kevin broke everything. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right, I don't know what that was. Oh, why'd I close the drive? I need to open that back up. I don't know. Aaron, my fi- my, I've my. i been on a Bond kick lately, as you know. Bond? James Bond? Bond? James Bond. Aaron, the Bond? guy. James Bond? No, what? What are you talking about? Oh. Aaron, the, what are you talking about? The guys who make Hitman, they're making, you know, Project 007, which apparently do, do, do. is it's going to be an origin story. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. I don't know about you. I haven't watched the teaser yet. Uh, I would put it on, but last time I did that, like, the thing exploded and you couldn't hear us talk about any Mario stuff. So I'm not going to do that again. Uh, but Project you, 007 is a working title. Did that a game features a and whole... Hitman Three is set to release early next year. I didn't even know that. Oh, it is. Yeah, it says right there. Well, here the fuck we are. But it's going to be a wholly original Bond story, which I says will put players into the shoes of the world's favorite secret agent to earn their double status for the very first time, which I am excited about. That I'll... is actually kind of cool. because I never understood how he got his license to kill, which I don't think you just give those to people because I think that's illegal still. I mean, depends. Well. Do you know what we really need to do, Kev, that we haven't been doing? Uh, the fight for all? Uh, that, but also getting a Q&A. Yeah, we're really bad at that. We're b- bad at yeah. both these things. Too, too many mini games. I thought of. No, we're just bad at remembering things. <sighs> yeah, whatever. We'll get another one out. Secret Agent Man. Is there a way I could watch this teaser without anything no. happening? I'm going to mute not. it right here. Not if I mute it right here, bro. Let's but watch it together. How can I hear it? I don't know. Don't worry about hearing it. Just look and appreciate. I'm looking. I'm looking and rubbing my beard on the, the, the microphone. All right, that's weird. I don't know why you're doing that. It's now an ASMR podcast. No, I don't want that, Aaron. Aaron, do you want me stop. To eat on that next. Aaron, oh. stop. Oh. What are you doing, <laughs> Stepro? Stop it. But I'm stuck in the washer. Did I ever show you that video? Of being a stepbrother in 2019. No, oh, I gotta send it to you. There's he made a sequel <laughs> called Having a Stepmom in 2020. Oh no. Uh, anyway, I'm trying. It's to see. a pew pewer. Is it gonna pew pew? You know what the thing is? As a kid, I never understood what that was. I was like, oh, that looks like a camera lens. <laughs> so, so, oh, that was it. That didn't tell me shit. That's the teaser. They didn't even show anything. Yeah, that did, that that's not even a teaser. Oh, I can't read anything now. Hold on. That's uh, a butthole. Uh, okay, so they're currently recruiting for the project. So this isn't coming out anytime soon. Um, oh, yeah. It's been a tricky year for Bond things and multiple delays. Daniel Craig's next movie, No Time to Die. Uh, so I guess they're going for a tie-in, but that's just not going to happen. So they're making not their own Karana. game. Dude, I'm into it. Hell yeah, dude. I'm no, excited I'm about that. That's cool. How do you feel about that's that? That's Coolio Julio. I feel like that is Coolio Julio, and I was never the biggest Bond person, but I'll play it. It looks cool. Well, that's good. As long as you want to play it, I guess. Yeah, I'd play it. I'd give it a shot once it's $25. Oh, that's why my Elgato keeps blacking out. I had, I had to deactivate when not showing. I don't want that. <laughs> You're the worst. Yeah, I get that, Aaron. Listen, I'm a piece of shit, okay? <laughs> oh, I mean, what? What you it said it, now? not me. You said it, not me. Now my Elgato just blacked out and it's not working. Okay. What the fuck, dude? It's oh my god! <laughs> no, not you. My old guy was just freaking the fuck out again. Oh, okay, well let me go back to it. Make sure everyone's very yeah, happy no, we're, during we're the good, podcast. We're good. See, see, okay, Aaron, please stop. <laughs> oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> Aaron, uh, the old guy just decided to fucking break, and we're not going to get anything done. It's, it's not fine. fine. No, this is not it's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. We Why don't need you... video. Videos for quitters. Well, we, uh, you haven't put, been putting up any of the videos, so I guess you're right. 
Do you know what you should do though, for real, for real? What? 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 Do, you, do you have those videos on unlisted, right? Yeah. Um, can you put them in a playlist? Oh fuck, uh, that's a lot of work. Yeah, remind me. I'll it's do that. really not. All I you gotta do is not. make a playlist and then click on like ten videos. Yeah, but I, I just, and then just I hate YouTube. Send and then send me the playlist link. Um, I'm gonna send it to one person who's one of our patrons so he can listen to them, and then it'll make it easier for me to do one at a time and get caught up once I'm caught up in school. All right, remind me tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Aaron, it was just a thought I had. Yeah, no, that's a smart idea actually. Aaron, there is a giant Capcom leak. Is there? I hadn't heard. Have you really not? Because I didn't know until not, I, I had no clue. I only no know because clue. one thing on here made me really excited. But Capcom got hacked. Resident Evil did. Outrage. I'll hold up. I went too far. Uh, oh, sorry. So according to the document, if it is indeed legit, we're getting sequels to, or remakes to Capcom's multiple properties over the years. Resident Evil Outrage. I don't know what that would be. Let's just run down. Let's guess what these would be, Aaron. Okay, well, let's guess. Resident, Resident Evil, Evil Outrage. Outrage. Probably a bad it's gonna be. It's going to be the new... Online Resident Evil at the end of that year. And wouldn't they just stop doing that? Like, Operation Raccoon City was bad. What was it? Umbrella Corpse was bad. Just stop trying this. Nope. They're going to keep going. I don't know why they love doing that. I'm going to go with the bad shooters. We're both in that, that boat. What? What? I keep hearing that it's not actually going to be something like that. That it's going to be Revelations 3. Ooh. They're going to change the name of it. I, don't know. I mean, it could just be a working title. I mean, that That's happens true. a lot in game. Yeah. They put, use working titles and then change it last. Anitra the did get picked up, by the way, so people are going to hear her guess. That's fine. All right. Well, now we're going to guess that. All right. Let's see. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. I have not played the first one, but I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. I have not, but I heard it's pretty good. So I did, not? too, actually. Street Fighter 6. I mean, I've been expecting that for 20 years. Yeah, like... All right, I guess instead of just Street Fighter 6, do you think it's just going to be good? Because, <laughs> like, 5 no. was a mess when it came out. No, it's not going to be good. Street Fighter's never good when it first comes out anymore. I just don't know why, like, fighting games are so scared to just have a fucking arcade mode again nowadays. Because nobody likes that. I do. I don't You're play, nobody. I don't play Evo, bro. <laughs> like, you think I'm good at games? I'm cold now. I need a sweatshirt. Come cuddle me. Mega Aaron. Man. Oh. Cuddle me, step, bro. All right, Come to um, Ohio. Rockman, Mega Man English. Oh, Rockman Match. I don't know what this is. It's going to be Tetris. It's going to be Dr. Mario for Mega Man. I was thinking that, or it's going to be some, like, yeah, probably some weird puzzle game like that. It's probably going to be a phone game. It'll probably uh, be a mobile that game. That be super disappointing. I bet you that's what it's going to be. Yeah, oh, unless it's Mega Man 12. No, nah, probably not. Dude, I did my best YouTuber thumbnail face for that. I was like, come on. No. Yeah. Too much you, light you in the background. Just not good. Most depressing person. Okay. Here we are. Don't you see my emo hair, bro? It's covering one of my eyes. Obviously. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 remake? Do we need it's that? Almost like I, it's almost like I told you that was happening. Yeah, but do we need that is my question. Yes! I have asked for this forever. I've told you a million times yeah. why we need it. I, w I feel like it would have more punch if it didn't get ported to absolutely everything all the time. Yes, but literally a remake would be so great. Imagine... I Imagine if they keep it true, if, if they if they pull a Resident Evil 2 remake, they keep it true to the game, add a little bit of stuff, and just make it fucking gorgeous. I'm not going to lie, it'd be cool, but I don't think I'd buy it. I'd buy it. Alright, will you buy it? Then I've been wanting to play Resident Evil 4 forever, but I hate the controls. Hey, remember the time you were supposed to finish Ghost of Tsushima 2? Nice. No, because that's not a game. Oh, okay. Uh, Onimusha... Ghost of Tsushima 1. I thought this said Onimusha New York, and I thought that would have been weird. New work. <laughs> but new work. I, I guess we could use a new Onimusha. The, that remaster I've never played well. one. It's Resident Evil Samurai. All right. Nice. Like, Onimusha was supposed to be Resident Evil 4, and then Devil May Cry was also supposed to be, Re supposed to be Resident Evil 4. Imagine. Then we got real Resident Evil 4, and yeah. it did everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Monster Hunter 6. Do not give a damn. Okay, I do because I, I like don't Monster care Hunter. about Monster Hunter. I think it's an overrated series. All right, I'm just not gonna argue with you on this. I will say it's hard to get into, but when you do, it's really worth it. So it's just too grindy for me. You know, I don't like super grindy things. You love RPGs. What are you talking about? Yeah, and most of the RPGs I love aren't. You don't have to grind to get through the story. 
Yeah, I'm moving on. Uh, what do you mean? Final Fantasy X, you literally don't have to grind to beat that game. Persona 5, you don't have to grind to beat that game. I guess you're not wrong. Right. Yes, they're long games, but they're not grindy. Monster Hunter, you literally do the same thing a hundred times to make one piece of armor. Yeah, but it, that's farming. It's not grinding. It's different. It's literally the same grinding thing. Grinding is experience. Farming is for items. God, you fucking idiot. Anyway. Oh, my God. I hate you so, so much. So here's what annoys me. Uh, Super Street Fighter Six already. Oh, wait. No, we skipped Biohazard yeah. Apocalypse. Let's, uh, I don't know what that is. That might be Revelations 3, I feel like. I was say, isn't 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 Biohazard just the other name for Resident Evil? Yeah. So but why think, why do they have it as why do they have them as Resident Evil on here, but then Biohazard Apocalypse is a different thing? Because probably one was written by an American, one was probably written by J- a Japanese guy. Oh, Biohazard in Japan. Yes, I know that, babe. But what I'm saying is, on this list of leaks, two of them are in under the name Resident Evil. One is under the name of Biohazard. That literally makes no sense. Ooh. I doubt it'll be Japan only. Or it's just, it, one's made by Capcom USA, probably. Maybe. I'm sorry. Listen, Anitra, um, I forgive you, but, like, just know Aaron doesn't, and he's a he's an asshole. Kevin's right. Kevin yeah. said he forgives you, but just know that I don't. All right, continue. All right, maybe so that's the, next, the one. So here's, I have, a, I have a mini rant to go on about fighting games right now. Okay, here's the Kevin Rand. No, this it's it's not that big. But, like, already we have Super Street Fighter Six. I knew Capcom was going to do that because they do that with every fighting game ever. But, yeah. like, I'm Money. still waiting to buy a Mortal Kombat 11 because the game is finally done. They had 11, they had Aftermath, which all got full releases, and now there's Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate. So I think Ultimate. the game's finally fucking done now. I you hope there's Ultimate DLC. Oh, my God. I'll punch him in the face. Like, I want to buy fighting games, but I don't know when they're done anymore because I'm not doing this DLC bullshit. I'll just leave it at the vanilla. I don't care. I'm over it. Fair. All right, great. That was my mini rant. I told you it wasn't going to be that bad. No, I didn't. Final Fight remake. Literally don't care. Okay. I understand people love it. I yeah, understand I people love yeah, it. I do. I understand it's going to be a big deal, but for me personally, I don't care. I care. So, I know you do. Here's that. Uh, like, it's cool. I'm glad for people who love it, but I don't care. Here's the big one for me. Power Stone remake, dude. I have no clue what that means. Do you not know what Power Stone is? No fucking All right. clue. So take Smash Brothers, but you're in a 3D arena. Okay. And then it's not about knocking him off the stage. It's about knocking him out. And, like, you, the whole goal is, like, during the fight, you can use weapons and all the arena to fight around. But, like, you get these three gems, which make you into your ultimate form. And there's one dude in Power Stone that's literally Goku. So he goes like full oh, Super okay. Saiyan. Honestly, can you... No, really. Can you look up some random Power Stone gameplay for me right now? Because I feel like you would be all about this. I will do it after this. No, you won't. I promise you. I that's will. like when people say, oh, I'll watch that show you recommend on Netflix and then they never fucking do. I always do. Anytime someone recommends something to me, I watch it. I don't believe you. Okay. Just sometimes it's like three years later, but I do. Oh my god! Ultra <laughs> Street Fighter Six. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm not buying Street Fighter Six till 2024 if this is real. Oh, uh, Street Fighter Six, Super Street Fighter Six, Ultra Street oh Fighter Six god. already planned. But they did that, they did that with four. Planned. They did that with I four. Love. Like I bought Super oh Street Fighter Four, and then they did like four Ultra, and then they did four Arcade. I'm like, yo, fuck it. I just left it at Super. I wasn't doing it again. This is why I hate fighting games. They already have it planned out for three years. I fucking love fighting games, but I I hate buying them because they're a fucking scam. Like I don't understand why why fighting games specifically. It's beautiful. It's like they already know they're gonna rebalance the game and re break it. Like that shit is beautiful. That actually just made me really happy. I don't like that. Uh, Captain Commando. I doubt it. We haven't seen one of those since. uh, since Super Nintendo. And that's how it was like a side-scrolling beat-up. I doubt it. Never heard of it. Uh, it's kind of obscure. But it's because Cap and then Commando, Capcom. Uh-huh, uh-huh, get it? Uh-huh. Captain Commando. He was like their logo guy for a while. What is this? Uh, okay. You breaking more things? Nope. Okay. All right. So I, I know what to do. Tina's saying she can hear me in the whole house. And that's why I need to get egg crates. To absorb yeah. sound. So, uh, I learned that. Uh, Alright, anyway. Oh, last thing is... Resident, Resident Evil Hank Hill! 
Dude, honestly, if Resident Evil Hank Hill is a thing. Bro! Bro, let's get bro. some Resident Evil King of the Hill crossover. I am down. Yo. <laughs> I think we just broke it, dude. We uh, just that's money. That's a I'll money tell scheme you right there. What? And then you throw propane tanks. <laughs> Your it. weapon is just throwing a propane tank at someone and shooting it with a shotgun. Yo. <laughs> uh, I'm really into all this. Um, propane so. tank flamethrower. All right. Most of that uh, is cool. Oh, uh, I think we can crank I dig it. it. We can crank through the rest of these actually within our time limit. Uh, Aaron, yeah, pretty quick. Aaron, remember I told you the PS fives are getting loud, uh, which makes no sense because I heard they're super quiet. Oh, Aaron, this is why I wait for systems to everyone to beta test them for me. Well, the PS fives are really cloud. Um, Maybe you're one of the few lucky you are to get a PlayStation 5, but you might also be one of the unlucky few who have noticed that the PS5 is really loud, right near the fan. There's a situation, Aaron. I'm going to summarize okay. it. <sighs> How do I find this? It's not been scared. The issue may be from a sticker. The sticker gets unstuck and just on the fan. And it's right by the fan. <laughs> and if you open up That's your PS5 amazing. to fix it, which is the only way to get to it, you void your warranty. Go fuck yourself. Like, I would just send it to them. Be like, fucking... Listen. Can That's you hear that? hilarious. Can yeah. You hear? Oh, my God. Like, it's so annoying. <laughs> oh, my God. This is why I wait for people to buy the system for me and beta test them all. It's so annoying, dude. Like, all he did is remove the label. It's right here. Look at it. It's right by the fan. Why would you put that there? That's funny. That's so dumb, dude. Yeah. So, anyway, that was the short little story <laughs> I wanted to do because I was like, God damn it. Um, I guess we could talk about The Last of Us winning Golden Game of the Year. At the I don't even know what the Golden Joysticks are. I don't know. Are, There's so. like 20,000 Game of the Year bullshits every year, dude. Yeah, I don't even know anymore. All I, I know, know is that... Going. I don't, I get why it won, and I'm not shocked that it's won, but I really don't want this game to win. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess people really, really like uh, Last of Us 2, which I get it, but I still found it just so disappointing. But, according to the other nominees, can every ad stop popping up? Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons never had a chance. I'm sorry. No. I don't think that game's worth it. Final Fantasy VII Remake? Meh. We talked about it. I could see it. I could see it winning because of uh, nostalgia. I'm yeah. telling you, Flight Sim, Crusader Kings Three, Fall Guys. I honestly, Fall Guys was fun for like two months, and then yeah, it kind of did. Hades should have won. Uh, Half Life no. Alex, shut up. Half Life Alex, Death Stranding, Ask Creed, Demon Souls, maybe uh, Spelunky, Yakuza. Yeah, all these kind of have like potential, except for. Uh, I don't know anything about Crusader Kings 3. That's the first time I ever saw that game. Yeah. Oh, my God. Tino. Or Factorio. Yeah. Never heard of it. I'll figure it out. All right. Well, there was that. Uh, Aaron. Good talk. Phil Spencer calls tribalism the worst thing in gaming. This is more like we could just read the title and just have a talk about how it's fucking stupid that people dedicate themselves to one oh, console. Oh, the console manager. wars bullshit? Dude, it's yeah, so no, dumb. Like, it's crazy. Like, Phil's, I remember there was one tweet a while ago when Phil Spencer was like, somebody was like, oh, what games are you looking forward to this holiday? And he said, like, Last of Us or something. And, like, Xbox was like, dude, how can you fucking say that? You have no faith in your system? You're buying Sony system? He goes, yeah, because I like video games. And I'm, I'm playing <laughs> some Xbox stuff, and I'm playing some Sony stuff. Like, if, the, if the, anything, this is barely a news story we're going to cover, if you want to call it a news story. But, like, if the guy that runs Xbox says, I'm going to play the PlayStation game, it's okay. You don't have to just buy one system. <laughs> like, yeah, you're not, you're not wrong. Well, that, well, that actually makes me respect him even more. Well, it's he's like, like we so, said. He's been doing some good shit lately. Like, like we're like, both pretty big Sony ponies, but you're ready to get an Xbox. I'm ready I'm to get, get an like, Xbox. If I can, if we can, we're literally getting a Series S tonight, if yeah. we can get it. And Game Pass is fucking worth it. We keep saying Game it. Pass is wonderful. So uh, this is a little side story. I don't have this. Um, but somebody asked, saw Neil Druckmann? No, not Neil Druckmann. Somebody on Sony, of, uh, they had like a plan to copy uh, Game Pass. And they said, we don't have anything to announce right now. I mean, 
that'd be pretty dope if Sony did something similar. Because PlayStation Now smart. is bullshit, and don't tell me it's the same thing. You're wrong. I think it'd be very smart if they did a Game Pass type thing. Oh on yeah. Their own. Oh yeah. They could call it. They could call it. Pass game. Whoa, dude! They should call it the PlayStation Pass. Boom. Boom. PP. Get that. Or PP. or 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 they could call it Video Pass. No, that sounds like a movie thing. Yeah, was there fun. a movie pass and it failed terribly? No. Yes, there was. No, there wasn't. It was like you pay 20 bucks a year and you can go see movies at like certain theaters as many times as you want? No, you're a okay. liar. All right, well, I, I think there was. Um, but yeah, oh, even Phil Spencer says, like, guys, don't, don't see that. Like, even if the developers are saying they're not in competition with each other and they should all just, like, enjoy games, maybe I mean, they should I mean, do technically, it. technically they are in competition to each other. Well, they right? are, that's, but that's, they're not, like... That's how it works, but they're... But, no, I get what you're saying. Like, if the basic boss of Xbox can buy a PlayStation and say he's looking forward to PlayStation-exclusive video games, get the fuck over yourself and stop defending it like it's the greatest thing ever. Facts, dude. Figbacks, as we say. Figbacks, bro. Figbacks. Where were we at? Um, yeah, dude. I Listen, don't buy the system makes you happy, <coughs> and it's okay. If you see Mario, yeah. you don't have to cry. You can go buy a Switch. Yeah. You don't have to just sit there For on your show, PlayStation 5. For sure, my bro. For sure, my bro. I just, For I don't show. know. I try to buy every system. every system. Yeah, every system's good except Stadia. Go fuck yourself. Like, uh, like I'll eventually get every system. It might take me a while. I might not get another Xbox until, like, the newest gen's out, but, like, I just don't. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I guess this one's shorter because I thought Aaron would. I put this in here because I thought you would be about this, but uh, the world ends with these. Yeah, I've simple. never played it. It definitely looks like something I would play. Yeah, I figured, like, did you never play this on DS? I remember you being, like, a big DS no. guy. I was a huge DS guy. Um, I never got this, though. Really? I, 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 uh, I'm pretty sure one of my friends played it in high school. Hmm. And that's how I knew about it, but I've never played it myself. Some people call this the best DS game ever made, by the way. Never heard that, but fair. A lot of people say World Ends of is like the best DS game, more than Pokemon. So That's crazy. And it has a I'll Switch version, it. and there's also a mobile version. I'll have, to, I'll have to try it. Yeah, so maybe Honestly. you play it on your phone, Aaron, and you report back to me. <gasps> Ooh, maybe. I'm How long does it take now. to beat? How long to beat? I, oh, oh. Type it. Type it in, baby. How long to beat porn? World ends. I see why you don't type. I'm doing because my computer's way. Fuck you, Aaron. Uh, <laughs> it looks like 25 hours ish. That's so long. I don't know if it's I an RPG. It. That's pretty short for an RPG. That's so long, bro. Okay, well, Aaron, I don't know what to tell you. But... I only play five-hour games and a hundred-hour games. Nothing in between. <laughs> you're not. You're actually right. <laughs> All right. So I guess that was a shorter news story. Uh, Aaron, this is one for the retro gamers out there. Um, collecting. Do you know what I love? That, do you know what I love about it, Super Mario Three? What? It's the fact that I sent you that song before I realized this was on the news, and it was based off a of Super Mario 3 oh song. Oh my god, yeah, that was great. <laughs> uh, listen, collectors, like collecting's getting wild. As somebody that used to work in a game store. I've seen the like, game spikes bro, and like the potential, bro, of collecting oh, games, bro. You can again. make a fortune, bro. You can, bro. The potential, the potential. Bro. I really need to know the backstory the potential, of potential, bro. It's a I'll shout for all your people, but anyway. So here's the thing: <laughs> I've seen like rare games come in, and then like there have been certain systems or certain games that get like real expensive. But as I was like at my end of time working there, like the people that had the rare games kind of kept them. And they weren't moving them as much because, like, people had what they want. So, if you've been in the retro gaming circle, Aaron, which you're you're kind of in, but you're kind of not. Partially in. I I don't care as much as other people, but, like, I like it. I like keeping tabs on it, and there's games I like in retro stuff, but I don't care as much. The thing about retro game collectors is that they're running out of shit. Because, like I said, everyone who has, like, their little Samsons that wants a little Samson has one. Like, everyone that wants a complete N64 has one. So, like, the comic book people are getting involved now. It's like, dude, I have the Super Mario 3. It's the rare hang tab version. Like, this box came with a hang tab. Yours doesn't. Pretty rare. It's, like, (laughs) stupid shit like that. 
Like this Mario one, this one had a sticker seal and the sticker still intact. <laughs> like it's shit like that. People are driving up prices. Oh so my god! This I sealed copy it. of Mario three sold for a world record of one hundred fifty six thousand dollars. First of all, if you're spending that much money on a fucking video game, find a shotgun and sort Get yourself a hobby. out. That's what get I'm, a hobby, bro. No, I'm just going a, with that. Get a different hobby. Find a shotgun and sort yourself out. That's what I'm telling you. Like, damn. Just go hunting. What? What are you thinking? I'm saying. Jeez, Aaron, don't just be damn. Just damn. Anyway, uh, why damn. is this so rare, though? Oh, that's right. I was gonna uh, say, like, I can find Super Mario three, anywhere, literally anywhere, anywhere. There are people who are out there. Like, there's like four different label variants of Super Mario World. And, like, one's more rare than the other. It's not a big deal, but right now... It's the same fucking game! Yeah, but the world is underneath Mario this time, as opposed to the side, bro. I hate everything. I know, me too. Uh, the last, like, record was uh, the original Super Mario Brothers that sold for 114000 earlier this year. I don't know if you know. Big dick energy. But why? Ooh. Oh, so they're getting degrading now, like comic books. So now the oh, box condition God. is a 9.2... That's some expensive fucking cardboard, Aaron. Wow. I'm glad my cardboard worked that much. Why is this one so much, though? It began at $62,000. While the condition of the game is remarkable. fucking bitters. What makes the condition of this game remarkable is the layout of the packaging itself. Exceedingly rare are sealed copies of the word bros formatted to the left. It's over here, Aaron. What? Covering one of Mario's signature white gloves. A press release. Collectors have spent years looking for this version. So because the word bros on this rare variant is on his left, Aaron. I'm sorry. Is this soul being sucked out of you? Because this is a dumb reason to pay $100,000 for something? Because, bro. I Friday could, was also the things another- I could do with that money. Dude, the fact that you're spending that much money on a fucking nes game that i can walk into any retro game store and buy for five fucking dollars no it's at least a 25 five dollar game calm the fuck down uh since when last time i was able to, i literally like a few years ago could yeah, buy it a for few five years bucks. ago dude listen i'll show again, you again a 25 dollar game and you're spending that much when you're fucking probably have homeless family members somewhere probably. that you could be you healthy just assume everyone has homeless family members <laughs> I'm just I, saying, everyone like, has like at least these, three <laughs> homeless family members. There's all these like fucking like homeless, all these sh- like I, and you, you're doing this. Not all even right. fifty, seventeen dollars. Right. Well, Aaron, if you look at video games price charting, you may notice right here the bros is under the Mario, and that's like oh the my, common, uh, oh my god, bro. Right, look, <laughs> look, look, look. So we use this website all the time working at games. All right, the average of just the cartridge of this game seventeen dollars, a little off from one hundred and sixty-five thousand. You may notice. The complete in-box price here at 45 and then a brand new one, even a brand new one that's never been opened, 720 Go fuck yourself if you spent this much money on a goddamn video game. You need to go help other people to make, like, use your money and go help other people because of this fucking bullshit. If I ever doing. meet somebody that spent this much money on a video game, I'm just going to punch you in the face. Right when you tell me, yeah, I spent uh, twenty grand on a copy of Mario Brothers. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yeah. Just gonna be honest with you, and, you, and like they would you. deserve it. They yeah. would deserve it. Like yeah. it's just absolutely stupid. I hate everybody. Yeah, so, yeah, that this was an a, awful way to end the podcast. That just ruined my entire. I know night. we got it. We have I'm like supposed a, to go stream with Chris. Twitch.tv, fa fa fooey. Check him out. He's actually streaming. I, every now. time he comes in my stream, I'm like fa fa fooey, fa fa fooey. I don't know why. I'm like fa fa fooey, fa fa fooey. I don't know why. It seems right. Fa fa foo high. Fa fa foo high. Aaron, we have. I feel like we have to hit like a, an hour twenty. We're at an hour seventeen. No, How do we, we fill really, three minutes? We really don't. How do we feel? We fill th- three minutes by me coming over here and going. Can you do that song where you're vigor- vigorous and masturbating again? Kevin. 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 You stink. All right, that was rude of you. There you go. I just filled a minute of the three minutes. It's your turn to fill a minute. I'll fill a minute. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, they, they don't call me the 60-second sex machine, you know, Aaron? The 60-second guru. Uh, the two-pump 60-second chump. 
champion of the world. I hate you. So I mean, much. we still have outro shit too that we can oh, do. Oh, you know what we should ooh, do? All ooh, things. Ooh. Aaron, we have to do all the outro. Follow, oh, follow Christ, me, okay. the oh, best God. man, the bro, the one with the potential. Yo, every, every time, God loving. <laughs> God shopping Every hero time. of the world, Aaron Norman at twitch.tv slash Aaron Norman. Is there a 93 there? 93 on that one. <laughs> at Twitter at Aaron Norman, Instagram at Aaron Norman. Follow the big smelly, ugly felly, eats a lot of jelly, console cab over at twitch.tv slash console cab. Yeah, okay. And at Twitter, console cab. And then you can follow the greatest podcast of all time. We love COD. We fear COD. We are the COD damn greatest. Twitter.com slash frenemy with no I. F-R-E-N-E-M-Y. Fire. I, uh, every time I, I close the, the <laughs> screen sharing and then I bring it back, your face gets really big. So it's really fun at the end of the podcast. You just keep moving your face around and you just look like a giant moon. You just look so happy and chunky. Look at you. Look at you go. Uh, it's because I'm fat, bro. Yeah, no, that's why we have a pizza bag going. I didn't do a salad, oh, man. <laughs> I didn't do a salad. I'm going to get you a nice Panera salad if you win the comment. <laughs> Bro, you get a good chicken Caesar salad from Buffalo Wild Wings. Who the fuck goes to the Wild Wings and get a salad? Actually, did I tell you when I went I to Hooters to. and I got a salad? Oh, God. No, we were... uh you did we, not. It was like we had a match the, the next day. We had a weird Sunday match for some reason. And there was a UFC fight, so we were like, oh, the smartest thing to do would be to go to Hooters the night before. So I fucking got a <laughs> salad at Hooters, and the waitress looked at me like... Why? And I was like, listen, I don't want to fucking explain myself to you. Can you just get me a salad? She was just like, yeah, I fucking guess. Sure. Like, she was so offended that I didn't order, like, a burger or wings, by the way. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, there's that. All right. I think we we went to an hour 20. We're done here. (laughs) We're done here. Do we get a countdown to end? Yeah. uh, Say bye, though. I did. Oh. Bye. Peace.